Boop. Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with HuddleCam HD, and in today's uh, live show, we're talking about Intel Nooks and why they're so great for video conferencing. We're going to show you some tips, tricks for installation, show you how it all works, and quick launch. We're going to look at this brand new software for, uh, in fact, I'll go to the website right now, ucworkspace.com. This is a really cool new software um, for let me just jump right into quick launch and then we will talk about the Intel Nook. so the quick quick launch is what we're installing on Intel Nooks, and you can actually do a free 30-day trial to give it a try um, but what it does is, is it basically gives you a dashboard for um, launching meetings so you can very easily launch meetings and it's it's just a really great way let's take a look at it really quickly here um, to design it so you can brand it you can lay it out with your colors and your logos there's an ultimate edition which integrates to Google calendars or exchange so that you can walk in and see the calendar for the meeting room it has camera control with all the huddle cam HD cameras a reset room button in case you know, so people walk into the room and make changes. You can quickly reset it. It has security like you wouldn't believe. We'll go into a little bit about the security. And then it also has just a really great way of having all your collaboration software and all the applications you want users to have access to, um, but might not uh, want them basically you know, able to actually access the Windows shell. So you can lock down the Intel Nook which is a really cool thing. But let me back up. What is the Intel Nook? Well, the Intel Nook is a, is a very small form factor PC. It's about five inches by five inches um, width, and then it's about two inches high. And this is the fifth generation. Um, I, I, maybe it's actually, actually, I think they're on the sixth generation now. This is the i5 processor. There's uh, four USB 3.0 ports. And there's two digital video outputs, so there's an HDMI and a display port. So this is good for dual display if you're needing it for that. Um, if you're doing 4K dual display, you're going to want to go to the i7 model. Um, but for 1080p dual display, the i5 seems to work perfectly fine. Um, we have here a network, uh, a network port there so that we can get high quality internet access to this device over your network. And the four USB 3.0 ports are usually used up for one camera, one microphone, a keyboard and mouse, and then you've got one extra which you can use for a variety of different things including um, you know, USB files and things like that with a USB stick. So that is what the Intel Nook is. Now let's take a look at a couple ways that uh, Intel Nooks are being integrated into video conferencing spaces. Let's start with like a huddle room, just a standard huddle room, and we'll we'll then move on to um, maybe a couple medium and, and larger space rooms. So here's a huddle room here, and I've actually got three rooms. This is Google SketchUp, and for those of you who um, might have not seen our other videos, we now offer all of our products uh, in Google SketchUp and we also offer um, free Google SketchUp design. So as you can see here, the Intel Nook is, is located right behind the display. Since it's such a small PC, it runs perfectly right on a display. No need to worry about um, you know finding space for it. It includes a little uh, wall mount, which is really nice. And as you can see here, uh, we've just got a wireless Huddle Pod Air, wireless speakerphone on the table, so there's no need to worry about cabling to and from that Intel Nook because the HDMI plugs right into the television and the USB plugs right into the camera. So it's a very simple but powerful uh, application for video conferencing. Now let's take a closer look at this Quick Link display here. 
At the bottom, you'll notice that there is the time of day, so you know kind of what time of day it is for quick reference, but you also have the ability to, to stack up additional time zones. So if you're an international company or you do business internationally or across the country, different time zones, you can have those elegantly displayed there at the bottom just so you know what's going on with the people you're video conferencing with. Um, we mentioned that the whole uh, display, colors, room name, branding is all available. I will look at the designer mode that does that. Uh, and it's all run by a little Intel Nook. Uh, it's a Windows 10 based PC. And um, you can run very easily and reliably run GoToMeeting, Skype for Business, BlueJeans, um, WebEx, all the major video conferencing platforms you can use. So let's take a look at a little bit of a larger room here. Um, here is the medium sized, uh, this is actually the HuddleCam HD Team Plus kit. Okay, so it comes with a little t Windows 10 uh, Intel NUC computer elegantly mounted behind the display with the Intel NUC computer. Um, this, instead of the HuddlePod Air, which is usually meant for small to medium sized rooms, we have the beam forming microphone array, the, which is the uh, Acoustic Magic. You can see here the camera's wall mounted below the display, and that's roughly at 42 inches to give you an eye level. Um, look at the display there. Um, it gives you an eye level with the camera so that the, the audience looks like they're looking directly at you. Um, again, you can see the Intel Nook there, elegantly tucked in behind. Now let's take a look at a dual display in a much larger scenario. Uh, again, you know, medium to large rooms will work with that acoustic magic. Um, we've got the network plugged in to this device and um, we just simply plug the HDMI into one display and then there's that display port which you can get an adapter to go display port to HDMI so for dual display it works quite nicely um, let me show you guys a little uh, rendering of a HuddleCam 10x here so this might be the 20x um, it's just very easy for us to put these products into rooms so that we can kind of give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like in your space and I think that really helps sell the idea of video conferencing because you're making changes to a boardroom or a conference room or a training room and you want people to kind of know uh, what, 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 you're, what we're talking about here. Here's the, uh, the joystick controller as well just to give you an idea. Um, so now let's take a closer look at Quick Launch. So we talked about the Intel Nook. Let's dig a little bit deeper into the Intel Nook as well and kind of, uh, kind of go through this here. So the Intel Nook is a small device with big performance, right? And I'm gonna even, I'll remove this to even give us a little better look. Um, customized computing, Intel's calling it. And it's a small computer full of a suite of uses. So it can be used for digital signage, gaming, productivity. It's really just a mini PC that can do almost anything. Um, digital signage is an interesting one we'll talk about a little bit. Um, so as you can see here, they're running Windows 10 on each one of those PCs. Um, very feature rich. The uh, blue USB port is a USB 3 uh, regular. The one on the right hand side is a um, extra power for smartphones. And you can see there's even an SD card reader there as well. So keep an eye on um, on the uh, specs here, let's take a look at um, the specifications on the Intel Nooks that we we sell with our ki our kits here. Um, well, you, where you'll find these is on the the brochure. On the last page, there's all the specifications on the Intel Nook that we ship. And these are pre-made, ready to ship. Um, you know, you'll see on Amazon and different places that you can buy all the different parts to build an Intel Nook. But what we found is that our customers really want pre-configured, ready to go Intel Nooks with the uh, software already on them. So it's a sixth generation Intel Nook, it's an i7. Um, it has gigabit LAN, those two front USB 3s and two back USB 3s. And um, it's expandable up to 32 gigabytes of memory uh, for RAM, and it has a three year warranty, which is really nice. I didn't actually realize it had a three year warranty. Um, the solid state hard drive we're providing is a 250 gigabyte solid state hard drive, and that actually has a five year warranty. 
Um, it also has wireless, so you can put it on the Wi-Fi, although if you're going to be doing video conferencing, you probably are going to want to um, stick with a hard, hardwired network connection. Um, we put in a 16 gigabyte uh, RAM chip in there. Uh, these can be upgraded to 32, so keep that in mind. We're, we're doing you a solid by leaving that second chip open if you need that. And you can talk to us about getting it, getting that put in there if you need, if need be. So that's pretty much it. There it gives you a pretty good idea of uh, of what this product does. And let's take a closer look at Quick Launch again. Let's look at the brochure here. And um, Let's just check off some of these these really nice options here. So you can it supports multiple collaboration applications. So that's one of the major things is that this ships ready for GoToMeeting, ready for WebEx, ready for Skype for Business. Okay. So whether you use one or many or any of really thing anything that runs on a Windows PC, this will work for you. Um, you can also access corporate data and you can do so very securely. Um, so you can very uh, securely say that I only want you know my users to have access to these five applications on this dedicated conferencing space PC. And when you hit the reset room button, or you can automate it to always reset every day, you can, uh, you can make this uh, product uh, comply with corporate compliancy. And what that means is, is that it will clear cache on browsers, it will clear temporary files, and it'll really drill down to make sure that this PC is 100% cleaned after each use, each hour, however you want that to work. You can showcase content and actually use this as a semi-digital signage system while um, you know, it's not in use for collaboration. Um, the designer mode is very nice. It allows you to design um, the layout exactly the way you want it. Um, there's a PC uh, monitoring system, which is very nice. In the bottom right, it will allow you to let you know whether or not you know we have a green status for good, or or red status is telling us well there's something wrong with the network, or you know if you have the ultimate edition, oh there's something wrong with the exchange connection. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways to look at that as well. Um, there's the optional locked down mode. That has been a very um, sought after feature because of the um, because of the ability to just lock it down so that no one can access Windows. Um, it also has camera control, which works with all the huddle cams. And uh, let's take a closer look at the application here, um, just to give it a. Fr let's go from top to right here. So your configurable logo. The easy reset button, uh, configurable room name, camera control, all the applications that are available, uh, quick online help if needed, designer mode which can be hidden once, once you're fully done there, password protection if you need that, um, and then clo closing it that can also be hidden. Um, one of the things we didn't talk about is there is a pinnable slash dockable uh, window. So if you don't want to run this in lockdown mode and you do want your users to have access to Windows, you can actually have these nested action groups follow you in a sidebar throughout Windows. So you never lose the quick room set applications and the different uh, features here. So if you are allowing them to minimize quick launch and go into Windows, you can still have access to this pinnable dock section at the bottom we have that resource monitor that we talked about uh, we can securely end meetings and reset room right there uh, easily toggle between dock mode and uh, toolbar view so that's what that does there that you can put this whole application into a toolbar to allow them to use windows if that's your choice that you're going for uh, and then there's the world clock the current time and very easy touch display to touch everything and uh, configurable collaboration area. So that's really the power of what we're talking about here. I hope this has been a helpful, um, helpful episode. That is our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. If you have any questions, leave the comments below, and we will definitely get back to you. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.